What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog here at Hidden Heights Farm. And as you can tell, we got baby goats running out of our ears now. If you guys have been watching some of our past videos, we've been having babies just about every day. Today is actually Christmas and uh, Tawny, one of our bigger Kiko girls, she had twins this morning. So we got some Christmas babies, a little girl and a little boy. That's the girl there. Cute little babies. And you can see I got them in here in this little stall and uh, we actually have eight babies now. This one here is crying for his mama. So we're, we're up to eight babies in just a matter of days. I think yesterday we had one baby and then uh, we came out here yesterday morning and there was five more on the ground and then two more today. So we got a total of eight now. But anyways, we're running out of places to be able to pin the mamas up. You know, if we got one that we're not sure is 100% strong or there might be something wrong with it, we want to be able to watch it, interact with its mom, and make sure the mom's feeding them and everything. So that is where Tartar, the brand Tartar, they actually just sent us some panels, and we'll walk out here in a minute on the trailer. I got them laying out there. And we're going to actually set up some pins. This could not have come at a better time. So let's take a walk out here and look at these pins that Tartar has sent us. Okay guys, looky here. This could not have come at a better time like I was saying. We have a little system here where we can set up a couple of kidding stalls or catch pins, whatever you want to call it. And this came from Tartar USA or Tartar Farm and Ranch Equipment. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll share the uh, website with you guys here in a little bit. I'll put it down in the uh, description. I'll put a link to them. But we got a 10 foot panel. We got three five foot panels and then two five foot gates. And uh, I got to figure out how to set this thing up. And I think it's going to be quite simple. The way they have this designed is they got these uh, latches on each side. And then they got these pins that just drop in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carry each one in one by one right through this door right here. We're going to go uh, try to find a good place to set this up. Now the floor in this barn is not perfectly level. So keep that in mind. But I think we can make it work just fine. And what this will allow us to do is we can go ahead and pin up two extra mamas and her babies in each pin and uh we'll get the ones that we think are the weakest or whatever and the reason we're doing this actually is because it is super cold last night it got down into single digit wind chill so luckily we got the barn but i had to go ahead and plug in their uh heater for their stock tank to keep their water from freezing and uh tonight what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this pin up we got tawny the big kiko in the corner i already got a heat lamp on her her babies were actually born early this morning it was super cold and these are tough hardy goats but i wanted to make sure that she got them dried off and you know they didn't get chilled or pneumonia or anything like that so we got them underneath the heat, heat lamp got some straw underneath them got a nice bed for them to uh cuddle up and get warm in and that's what we're going to do with this we're just going to uh, set this up and then we'll catch two of the mamas and then figure out which babies are hers and put them in there. And then the next day or two, we need to start ear tagging them. Uh, we already gave them the selenium gel. So uh, let me get these carried in.
All right, guys, you can see what I got going here. Just a simple little five by five pin set up at the gates. And you can see I already got two uh, volunteers. They want to stay the night in here, so I'm gonna get their mama here in just a minute. But first, I kind of want to show you guys this stuff. As you can tell, it's not perfectly uh, level because of all the uh, hay and stuff on the ground, it's kind of unlevel, but it's gonna work just fine for what we need it for. Thanks to Tartar, awesome products. You guys seen how easy it is. And let me show you how these pins work. So you got a pin, you got a, a latch on the top and then you got a latch on your other panel. You just kind of line them up, drop your pin in, Put this little key pin in there. And there you go, the ghost keeps picking it up and it's done. So there you go guys, it was super easy to assemble this whole kit. Mama and baby is safe and sound in this pen. Um, I'll keep them in here overnight just to make sure the babies are eating, but as you can see right now, both of them are eating just fine. Um, the temperatures are supposed to get a little cooler tonight again, so I might put a heat lamp in here, I don't know yet. They are blocked from the wind. And they got this nice hay bedding here. They'll be safe and sound and warm. Um, I got to get a feed pail and a water bucket hung up on here. That way she'll have all her nutrition. I'll put some hay in here for her to eat on. And if they're good to go tomorrow morning, they're, they're already looking very healthy. But this pen, I am super excited to be working with Tartar USA. Um, if you guys are interested in any of their products, if you guys have any kind of livestock, um, I ask you to go to TartarUSA.com and check out all their products. They have products for all kinds of livestock, farm and ranching. They have tractor stuff, fencing stuff. Check them out. You'll find all kinds of feeders. They got hay feeders, <laughs> anything, all, this, all these different panels. And when I started talking to them, I actually needed some panels for the hogs. And then I got to looking at these and I was like, man, these have the four by four squares. It's all galvanized. It's going to last forever. Um, the thing with these four by four squares are the goats can't get their head stuck in here. And a lot of times with cattle panels, if you, you know, you'll see people, I've done it before. I'll try to set up a corral or a pen with cattle panels. And most of the time these goats, especially the ones with horns are so nosy, they'll stick their heads in there and they'll get stuck. But with these four by four squares like this, there's no getting their head stuck in that. So uh, Tartar, you get a thumbs up. This was super easy to assemble. It took me like 15 minutes to put this little kit together. Um, you can actually go to their website, tartarusa.com, and you can put in your zip code. It will actually tell you your local distributor. And I'm pretty sure if you got a feed store or an Atwoods or a tractor supply, anything like that, a lot of them retail stores carry Tartar USA's products. So here's another great product from Tartar that we've had for about three years. I've actually got two. I got one over here and I've got one over in the Kiko Pygmy Pen. And uh, this thing has lasted great ever since we've had it. It hasn't rusted out or anything. They use quality products made here in the USA. So definitely go check them out, tartarusa.com. So there you go, guys. There is another video of some essential equipment that you need to have around the farm. Whether you have sheep or goats, these panels are a lifesaver. Um, right now, we did not expect all these kids to be uh, being born already. So having these extra stalls, you know I got the one in here, but that's the only one I got in this barn. And uh, Tartar sent these panels to us just in time. Uh, you know, we agreed to uh, do video reviews over them. And now that I got them set up, I'm sure they're gonna be in a lot of videos in the future. And one thing, that you can use these things for rather than just kidding stalls is if you got a sick goat um, that you want to kind of separate from the other herd that you need to feed a special diet or one that's hard to catch here and there and you need to doctor it for several days in a row and give it shots or whatever you can always pin them up in a pin like that give them food and water and then they're super easy to catch just get in there and you ain't got to chase them around your barn or around your uh, fence excuse me this little guy he's all uh, warm and cozy he was actually the first one born here uh, this kidding season. He was a single. And uh, he's half Kiko, half Spanish. We don't have any names or anything picked out. I'm not your mama, buddy. I'll get you to your mama in just a minute. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so far kidding season's been good. I think we've only had two singles so far. We got three sets of twins. And 
got one girl. We were wanting a whole lot of girls this year to try to build our herd up, but that's fine. Um, what we can do is we can sell the males and take that money and buy some quality other Kikos. But it is nice when you get attached to these goats and you have some that you really like, like Tawny and One Sock, some of our best goats that we've ever had. Uh, we like their size, the way their attitude is. They're just all around perfect goats. They're never sick. And um, that is the quality we look for here. Their babies grow fast. So uh, we were hoping to get some females out of them, which luckily so far Tawny went ahead and kitted and she had a boy and a girl. So we'll actually hopefully raise up her female kid as long as it grows up healthy and don't have no issues. And um, the number one thing, like we said in the last video, guys, it's not about boys and girls and colors and all that. It's about health. You know, we raise them to be healthy. And of course, you want a flashy looking kid or you want them to look pretty or be uniquely colored. That way, when you come outside, you can just see that goat and you're like, oh, there's ginger. Everybody knows what ginger looks like. So uh, that's just that. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, you better subscribe because uh, we're going to be having a lot of goat videos coming out soon, especially with all these new babies hitting the ground. Uh, just like I said earlier, we came out this morning and had some Christmas babies from Tawny. And luckily, they're a nice set of healthy twins. So we'll take that any day. So leave a comment, like this video, and we'll see you next time. And be sure to check out my friends at TartarUSA.com. Hey, Dace. See your baby?